Hollywood loves art heists. It's been the focus of several glamorous films, but it's big business and big news. The FBI says that the black market for art is worth about $6 billion a year. Famous and not-so-famous pieces are equally targeted. Edward Munch's The Scream has been the target of several high-profile thefts, some of which were successful. The Mona Lisa was stolen in 1911. In 1972, the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts was the site of the largest art theft in Canadian history when armed thieves made off with jewellery, figurines and paintings worth, at the time, more than $2 million. Anne-Louise Sego, AXA Art's Vice President and Senior Fine Art Underwriter in Canada, explains how insurance comes into play in such art nappings. The perils that are typically covered under an art policy would be theft, um, fire, flood, earthquake, accidental damage um, and certain policies again would exclude them so I can't say you know what every poli- every insurer's coverage is but they're the typ- typical coverages that are that are that are covered under a policy so we call it all risks of physical loss or damage how insurance plays for into to a stolen um, work is you know you know we have relationships with people like the art, art loss register they essentially hold a database of stolen artworks that are logged once they're stolen and believe it or not some of these pieces turn up to be sold years later um, and you know if if it can go through the database you know it can actually be seen that it's been you know it's all of a sudden at auction somewhere in Europe and it was stolen 10 years ago somewhere else in the world so you know insurance and, and the and the um, the registers and things that we have available um, as databases actually help us you know what you know, we can offer rewards and things like that, which isn't a standard practice, but we'll do what we can to actually um, find those works in the event they're stolen. We also have, under our policy, a loss buyback clause. So in the event that AXA have paid out a total loss on the monk screen when it was stolen, then, um, you know, got if in the really happy event that, you know, it's recovered at some point in time, you know, that we can actually offer that piece back to the original owner in exchange for the original amount that they were paid out. So, you know, it goes back to sort of trying to be help and be around and be be mindful of of what we're insuring and the importance it has to people. But is stolen art the biggest worry for private collectors or museums? And Louise says that the heists are not the insurer's biggest worry. Much as stolen art seems to hit the headlines way more than anything else, it isn't actually the most likely occurrence that we have. The majority of the claims that we have are um, unfortunately around um, transit um, of works um, or works that are being deinstalled to be packed and then shipped and then reinstalled in an exhibition. So it's all around the methods of transit um, because that work, the artwork is, is most vulnerable. Um, and so they, in the far majority, take over, I would say, 75% of the claims that we have are as a result of transit damage. But they don't make the headlines because they're not as interesting.